A lot of times over the years, I've needed to add in numbers in sequence, such as you see here, and I didn't want to manually do it one at a time. So Excel allows us a couple different ways that we can get around that. So if I highlight the first three cells in the column, I can go down to this little tiny button that you see here in the bottom right, and I can just drag down and it'll continue down the sequence and automatically number for me. However, what if I want to go down thousands of different cells? That could take a really long time. So what I want to do is I want to use the Fill Series option. So let's take a look at the Fill button in the top right, and then go down to where it says Series. Now, we want to do Columns because we want to go down and stay with Linear. Step value is going to be 1. If you do it 2, it'll go by 2s instead of 1. And I'll say stop value is going to be 5,000. So now I don't have to drag down up to 5,000 of these. Click OK. And look at that. It's numbered all the way down to 5,000 for us. Now we can also do this horizontally as well. Just go down to fill again, series, and just change it to rows instead of columns. And I'll just do the same thing. Click OK. And boom, there it is. So there we go. It's got uh, all 5,000 going across. So that's how we use the auto series fill in Microsoft Excel.